Hey, hey, what's up guys? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. In today's episode, it's going to be Brazilian barbecue. Let's feast. So I'm here at the Boss Coffee Factory. It's right here behind me. Let's go in and get some coffee. They don't sell coffee. They only sell, uh, what do you call this? Shirts and it's called clothing. That's what it's called. Forgot the word. Garments. Fashion stuff. They stole the logo from Boss Coffee. So I've just went and bought a Boss Coffee from the, the 7-Eleven and the font is the, is the same. Look, Boss, Boss Coffee. For all canned coffee lovers, Boss, Boss. They're using the same font. They've totally ripped them off. So before we go to the restaurant, guys, I've got a couple important announcements to make. The first one being, I just finished up with my residency. That's right, I haven't told anybody about this. And wait for it, I just got my neurology license. Isn't this amazing? My Japanese neurology license. So I am basically a surgeon now in Japan. The sad news is that this is gonna be my last YouTube video. So we're gonna finish it off big with Brazilian uh, barbecue. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I've got a couple more important announcements and I wanna uh, bid you guys a proper farewell and proper goodbye. And I really gotta get used to wearing this mask, but yeah. I'll take the mask off to eat though, yeah. All right, let's go to the restaurant. That's what we're after right here. Yep, look at that presentation. And the name of the restaurant is Barbecue Churros. So yeah, they've got churros too. Mexican churros at a Brazilian restaurant. This is gonna be good. My last meal for Eric meal time, you guys. It's been a great ride. We're gonna finish it off with a bang. So in the ER where I'm going to be working, they have these really strict cleanliness standards and they made me shave the beard. So I miss it already. So sorry, you guys, I had to get rid of the beard. So the menu system here at this restaurant, it's an all you can eat for two hours and it's 3,800 yen Brazilian barbecue. You get one drink free with it or one drink included. It's about $35. It's going to be a feast and they deliver the meats to your table. And they also have a salad bar. It's an all-you-can-eat salad bar. So this is going to be a feast. And the system for ordering is the green side means bring it on. They're coming around. They'll deliver it to you. And then when you don't want to eat anymore, you say stop like that. So pretty much I think we're going to be having the green light the whole time, the whole two hours. Yeah, if we can handle it. Let's see. Uh, let's have a quick look at the salad bar, shall we? Oh boy. This is Deluxe. Woohoo! Yeah, lots of goodies. Yeah, broccoli. Won't be having any of that. Beets, maybe, yes. Quail eggs. Oh, oh and wait, there's more. They've got curries. Mmm, look at this. Like skillets of different stuff here. Interesting. Oh, and what is that? Look at that. It's a cheese wheel. Wow. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> Look at all the condiments. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a treat. Nachos. Got a dessert corner over here. Look at that. Desserts. Good stuff. Look at all this stuff. And there's also an option for all you can drink wine for 20, 20 bucks about, $18, but not gonna do that. This is lunchtime. First off is the Brazilian soup. It's called feijoada, and it's served with sauteed kale and butter. So let's do the kale first. You have a choice here of chopsticks or the knives, fork and spoon. I'm gonna go with the chopsticks. The kale is very chewy. It's cooked lightly. Well, it's still I don't know, half raw, which is nice. I like it this way. It's not mus, in other words. Let's try the soup. Bean soup. Looks like it's got some meat in it as well, too. Feijoada. Oh, it's got a smokiness. It's really good. The salad bar here is absolutely amazing. 
hundreds of ingredients, over a hundred ingredients easily. I could only probably get half into this bowl. So I'm using a vinaigrette dressing and a Caesar dressing. So all of this is over a bed of like three different kinds, four different kinds of lettuces, dark leafy greens. I don't even know where to start. This this is like Las Vegas $100 buffet level. Seriously, this. Probably the best salad bar I've ever seen in Japan. Better than Sizzler, blows it away. Let's start with the beets. Packed with nutrients, beets. This is the vinaigrette dressing. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like it's pickled. Now that's what vinaigrette is, isn't it? Very nice. Olives are a rare sight in Japan as well, too. Unless you order a martini. Mm. Oh, it's been so long since I've had olives. This is called okra right here. It's never, never gooey, gooey greens. You used to hate it. Now it's it's okay. I wouldn't go as far to say as I like it. Yeah. These I think are what are they called? Sun dried tomatoes. What a wonderful way to eat tomatoes, yes. This, you know what this is, right? Sweet potato with the vinaigrette dressing on it. The dressing's kind of random, I just sort of sprinkled it around. Mm. It doesn't do with the vinaigrette dressing. Mm. That's better for the greens. This is very sweet. Yeah, very sweet and packed with nutrients. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move over here to the mushrooms, to the fungi. These are the best mushrooms in Japan. That's what I'm gonna call them. They're just the best mushrooms. I've had them before and I can't remember the name. It tastes like meat. Mm -hmm. Some jalapenos for flavor. It goes good with the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Two colors of paprika at the same time. Mm, love the crispness of these. Mm. Fresh out of the garden. Mm -hmm. Is this a quail egg? Oh my. Let's bite into it. Yes, sir. One quail egg. Mini corn. Take some pickles. Mm -hmm. Pickles and I'm not sure what that is. Maybe red cabbage. Beets. Pickled cabbage. Mm -hmm. This is just the standard red cabbage. This is a lot of salad. What do we have here? White asparagus. Tastes like it came out of a can. I don't want to make the salad part of the video too long because the barbecue is the main event. So, a couple more bites, we're going to be done with this. Oh, there's some other mushrooms here. These are the mushrooms I don't like. The best mushrooms, and these are the worst mushrooms. Ugh. Japanese squash, pumpkin. The pumpkin family in Japan, pumpkin, the word is the same thing as squash. So sweet. All right, we'll finish off with some onions. A couple of onions. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Best salad 
I think I've ever had in Japan. It's time to switch over to the green. Yeah, bring it on. Let's do this. How do you say thank you in Portuguese? Obrigado. Obrigado. Oh boy, we're starting out with my favorite garlic steak. Oh boy. Wrong way, English. What do we got here? Sausage? Yes, please. Arigato. 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 So now we've got three things on the plate. I don't know where to start. I gotta start. Not with the steak. Chicken. No, let's do chicken, sausage, and then the steak. Yeah. In order of their their powerfulness, in order of their stronger taste, I think. Right? The chicken should be mild, I'm guessing. Don't really know. Yeah, generally chicken is the milder meat, correct? I happen to like chicken skin, so that's the piece we'll go for. Mm -hmm. Pretty similar to 7-Eleven's chicken, actually. Yeah. Not much taste. But they do have sauces as well, too, that you can bring into the equation. The sauces are right here. So I think with the chicken, it would be better to do some, something like this. Okay. Let's see if that changes, changes things up. Better, but I think that's it's better for on a meat, basically like a steak on beef rather than chicken. Oh, the texture is more like hamburger than sausage, if that makes sense. It's almost like it's minced inside or something. Hmm. It's a good thing. It's heavy, it's meaty. Not at all spicy. All right. Did we save the best for last here? Garlic steak. Oh, it's cooked beautifully. This is like medium. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go for some sauce on this. Definitely this is steak sauce. Yeah. That's looking good. Let's go for this piece, the least cooked piece. Yeah, medium. Maybe medium, medium well, medium rare, probably. Oh, that is delicious. Super, super tender. This piece is even more fatty. Oh, warm. I just want to eat garlic steak all afternoon. I don't need any other meat. Just bring on the garlic steak. Oh. There are a grand total of 17 different meats here. 17 different types of cuts. So these are the cuts up above, and then these are the types of entrees down here below. So there's 12, yeah, three times four, yeah, 12 different types. So before we get started with the flat meat, let's sample the iced coffee. Yes, iced coffee is very popular in Japan. I'm not sure if it's popular in Brazil or not. Let me know if you're Brazilian. Iced coffee. Yeah, and it's nice because they give you these little sleeves, right? Typically, it's it's to keep your hands from getting burned, but in this case, it's to keep your hands from getting too cold. Yeah, you've seen these before, right? The little sleeves. So what would you say? Is A larger or is B larger? Longer. Yeah, so from left to right, side to side. Ready for the reveal? They are exactly the same size. Exactly. To me, a, a looks way longer down there on the bottom. But if you put B down here on the bottom, it looks way longer too. So, it's a nice illusion. Yeah. 
All right, flap meat. What in the world is flap meat? Flap meat is this, it's the belly. That's flap meat down there, fatty part, belly. First piece we're gonna go for without sauce, no sauce. Oh. <laughs> wow, does not need any sauce. This is so juicy just as it is. It's been marinated in something. Oh, perfection. Beautiful, thank you. Arigatouzamasu. I forgot to ask him what kind of meat it is before he took off. Maybe we can guess. Mm. Uh, oh, I, uh, I have no idea. In the meantime, let's eat. I like it how every one of them is, it comes different. They're presented all different. Oh, look at this fatty piece right here. That's the one I'm gonna eat. Yeah, <clears throat> so if it looks like a little fatty piece of pizza, look at that, it's a piece of pizza. I describe this as barbecue almost. Barbecue. Smoky. I could eat this all afternoon. Oh, this is from the garlic steak. Rump steak. No, it comes from up here. The hip. Oh, look at that. Oh. I love how they cook it here though. Medium. Yeah. And I think most Japanese won't have a problem with that. Yeah, so if you like meat done well done. You're gonna have to ask them. And they'll give you one of the ends. Okay, so this is a little bit tougher than the others, a little bit harder to cut. Does it need sauce? That is the question. Actually, I'm gonna just try this other sauce. I haven't tried this one yet. It's, it's the vinaigrette. It might ruin it. Actually, I don't really like vinaigrette, but since it's here, I have to try it on the smallest piece so we don't ruin it. That was probably a bad idea. But it's on the table. Gotta sample everything at least once. I like the dressing, it's an onion dressing, but it doesn't go with this meat, no. Definitely this is the steak sauce. That would go good with the chicken, I believe. Yeah. On end. Mm. Mm. This is a top cut of meat. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. This one's called picana con pimenta, pepper steak. And this is round two of garlic steak here in the middle. So let's try this one. I haven't had this yet. Pepper steak. Oh boy. This is a really soft cut of meat, very soft. I like how it's charred on the outside there. Mm -hmm. Love that smoky flavor. Wow, oh, this is like a stew meat. Mm. Definitely needs this. Yeah, not tough. A fatty piece would be better. Yeah. Yeah, the fatty piece is better with the dressing on it. Garlic steak, round two. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, the pinkness. Best day of my life. Yep. Got a new job. Mm. And we're celebrating. The new job I have, by the way, is at my university. I just started a new semester. This is an allergy mask. In, in Japanese, it's called a kapuncho mask. So recently, pollen has been affecting me a lot, so and I'm not actually a surgeon. Yeah, sorry to disappoint you. April Fools, it, it is still April, right? Can't say I've ever had this before. Barbecue pineapple. Is it gonna be hot? That is really good. Juicy. Tastes more like pineapple juice. It's different than eating cold pineapple. 
the, the texture changes. It gets softer. Yeah, definitely easier to chew. It looks like cheesecake. Grilled cheese. Is it gonna be hot? Fresh off the grill? <laughs> oh my. It's just the right temperature. Very soft and creamy on the inside, chewy on the outside. I love it. You know, these things are really annoying. I don't know how Japanese can wear these. And the only reason why I bought this was, well, because of my job at the uh, at the ER. Where am I working again? I forget. Yeah, the ER. My real job is I work at a Japanese university in the English department. Uh, Scouts honor. I've been teaching for 12 years, and they don't serve meat like this on my campus. Cannot get it. Not even close. But in the future. I'm going to be doing food videos from my school because my youngest son is going to my university. Yeah, so we're gonna do a bunch of the different restaurants. And it's a big campus, there's 25,000 students, so there's like eight restaurants on campus and there's a whole bunch of other restaurants just off campus, so look for those in future episodes. And with that, I think it's time to give this meal a rating. There's no thought required at all for this. You guys know what the rating's gonna be. It's a full six, it's a nom nom nom, no question about it. This place is a treat. And I think it's pretty fair value for $35 a person. Lunchtime, don't come here for dinner, you'll pay like three times as much. But definitely like a bargain and the quality is all there. The salad is amazing, the salad bar. Tremendous amount of like selections and freshness and, and the meats, I mean, every one is just, they're super, super tasty. Brazilian barbecue, if you get a chance to try it, definitely try it out. I'll put a link down below to the restaurant. It's a chain, so there's, I think there's several of them in the Tokyo area, but I'm giving away some snack packs since I gave away a six star ranking. That means that if you leave a comment down below, you'll automatically be entered for your chance to win and get some snack pack. If you're not familiar with the Get Some Snack Pack, there'll be a link to it right up here. You can check out what's inside. And I will announce three winners in the very next Eric Mealtime video. That's right. The series is going to continue. That's right. Don't unsubscribe to the channel yet. And there's one other thing I wanted to ask you guys. One other thing. Since I'm doing three videos a week right now, my channel banner is very old and it says I only do two uploads a week. So I need to do and make another channel banner. So if anybody is good at graphic arts and knows how to make a channel banner, let me know. Send me an email if you're interested in, in helping me make a channel banner and I'll pay you off in snack packs. That's right. You don't have to enter the drawing. Yeah. So uh, just, just send me an email if you're good at graphic design, ericsurf6 at gmail.com. I appreciate it. Look forward to reading your comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. I found some Brazilian desserts, so I figured I had to do a small dessert. This one's called Brigindo, the white one. And this one's called Brigerdo, Brigerdo. And this is just a lime tart in the bottom there, so. Brigindo is first. Oh, it's coconut. Got coconut cream bone. It's chilled. It's delicious. I don't do desserts very often, so when I do do dessert, they're extra super delicious. The less you eat sugar, the more of a treat it is when you do eat sugar. Trust me, don't eat sugar that much. Once a week, maybe. Brugerdo. Oh, mega chocolate. Oh, it's like a fudge. Creamy, fudge, rich. And the lime tart. That looks fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> oh, it's moose like. Mm hmm. It's very light. I should have had the tart first, and then the other ones after. They're sweeter. Oops. Fuck. The desserts are also num num num. Okay, so I found the real Boss Coffee, the big logo right here, look at it. It's Cafe LA. 
look at that size of that thing. That's the boss right there. Yeah, sells for one dollar. And this one's hot, as opposed to the last one I got was cold. See, this is the 7-Eleven collaboration, right? That's this is garbage. This is the original. Yeah, this guy. How boss is that? Yeah, boss coffee. And Tommy Lee Jones is the character that they use on the TV commercials, and he is definitely a boss, Tommy Lee Jones. To you, the boss. Not, not that, what was the guy's name? Hugo, Hugo Boss is the, the name of the clothing company. And they totally ripped off this logo. They totally ripped it off. Not fair. It's too sweet, it's way too sweet. Black is better, but it's still boss, man. It's like sweet coffee with milk in it. This is the stuff. Go boss or go home. I've got a riddle for you. How do you escape from a room with no doors or windows? There's only a table and a mirror in the room. Here's how it goes. You look in the mirror, you see what you saw. You take the saw, you saw the table in half. Two halves make a hole, you crawl out the hole, and you're out. <laughs>